Live again, we are live again this afternoon, right at KMS Radio, the radio that lifts your heart to the next level, right again with me. Kalika Bamade was that shot from the mountain. We live again, as promised. You know, it's gonna be an awesome night. You know, and as you can see, you know, I'm not alone, right again. It's uh, you know, this moment, as usual, you know, the Sunday vibe, the Sunday vibe. Come on, share the page, you know, come on, you can just uh, share the news so that uh, many people can also, you know, tune and listen live with us, right here at KMS Radio, the radio that lift your heart to the next level you know as you know our custom you know whenever we have a visitor we don't talk about them they talk themselves so that uh, you know they can really tell us who they are right here in front of me you know tonight it's a beautiful night again right here from south africa you know this is chemist radio it's on the vibe so you know right here i have a bishop i don't want to talk much He's gonna tell us who he is right before us, you know, getting uh, you know so far again with us. This is KMS Radio. So, Bishop, you know, our custom when whenever we receive a guest, we let them talk themselves so that it leads to be much better, so that we know you, you know, in all details possible that uh, we can. So, we're giving you the platform. Thank you very much for having me. Well, my name is Bishop Nathaniel, as you said. Uh, we are Israel united in Christ, and we teach the truth according to the Bible. Now, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure you think everybody says they teach the truth according to the Bible. Mm. However, what we teach according to the Bible that has never been taught is that we are the biblical Israelites that have been scattered worldwide. That's right, the Israelites of the Holy Bible. Wow. That's who we are. Amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that's a powerful introduction. You know, I love it. Uh, you know, you say you teach what is in the Bible. Yes. You know, wow. So, what really, you know, that's a tricky question. But I don't want to start my question, but uh, I, I like the fact that you said you teach what is in the Bible. And what conviction that you have that saying what you're teaching, it's the truth. What conviction do I have? Yes. Well, number one, all throughout the Bible, the prophets describe themselves as black people. I bet you never heard that before, did you? Never. <laughs> never. Like in Job chapter 30, verse 30, yes. Job says, my skin mm. is black upon me. Did you ever hear that before? Nah, you know. Uh, it's right there in the Holy Bible, <laughs> but it's right there. That's he, amazing. Yeah, and it's not just that. There's many others. I'm pretty sure that you have heard of King Solomon. Yes, you indeed. King Solomon. Yes. So when you read Job chapter 30, verse 30, and when I read from the King James Version Bible, all right. because all the color references have been uh, remained in there, mm-hmm. the new version Bibles, they have been removed. There's okay. no references of color in the New Version Bibles. So that's why we stick to the KJV, King James Version. Wonderful. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Let me get it, let me get it. He's, uh, you know, I'm flipping the pages here. Y'all bear with me. I know we got limited time, but it's all right. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. That's verse 1. Yeah. Verse 5, so meaning Solomon wrote this song. Mm-hmm. Verse 5, he says, I am black. But comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. King Solomon, king of the Jews, king of the nation of Israel, says, I am black. Comely means good looking. He said, I'm black and good looking. That's what he <laughs> said. But nobody teaches this. Yes. Well, that's amazing. So amazing. You said uh, you based, you know, your, your organization is based really for black people, if I may ask. The uh, Israelites, let's say this, scattered Israelites. Because, you know, our people, mm-hmm. the Israelites, we have been scattered worldwide. Not only have we been scattered during the sub-Saharan slave trade that nobody talks about, but the transatlantic slave trade from the continent of Africa to North America, Central, South, the Caribbean, even as far as India, Pakistan, and Iran. 
We've been scattered, and nobody cares about us. There's no church on earth who's seeking to unify our race but us. We're the true disciples of Christ. We are the prophets. So what inspires you that, you know, just creating such an organization? No, I didn't just create it. Okay. Christ commanded us to go out and do this. When he said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, nobody knows why he said that. Yes. Because when you read the, the curses of Deuteronomy 28, verse 60, well, let me get it, let me get it for you. Yeah, no let problem, no problem. Uh, bear with me a second. And no problem, we here waiting for that. <laughs> okay, you're here, good, good, good. Y'all bear with me. You at home, if you got a Bible, you read along with us. Mm. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 61. And one of the curses upon the Israelites reads as follows. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither, which, uh, let me see, thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So under the sub-Saharan slave trade, the Arabs took us to places like Saudi Arabia, no. Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, India, where we worship Islam. The, the transatlantic slave trade, which was orchestrated by Pope Nicholas V in 1441, mm -hmm. the, the Christian church, they authorized the transatlantic slave trade, which took us from Africa to the Americas to Europe to Central South America and the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. They scattered us worldwide, so we've been scattered. Why? Because as God's people, we broke all the commandments God gave us, and we continue to do so this day. Well, that's amazing. You yes, know, sir. it's kind of like mind blowing. Uh, everything that you're saying, so you are you saying everything is based in the Bible. Yes, sir. Wow, that's amazing. So, um, okay, you know, I would like just to understand. It's not like kind of like being a bit, bit racist. So, your message is not white people. If I, if I may ask that question, you, you sure you want to answer? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna read Revelation chapter two. Okay. Now, I, now I need all of y'all to get your Bibles because you won't believe Jesus said this in the Holy Bible. All right. Revelation chapter two and verse nine, and it reads as follows. Mm. Christ is speaking to the real Israelites at first. Yeah. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Uh-oh. Yeah, you got quiet right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, you know. Okay, you know, this is, uh, if uh, you're just catching us right now, uh, this is um, the United, uh, Israel United in Christ, you know. This is a very powerful organization. So I hope you kind of like also having questions like me right now. But, you know, Bishop's right here. And, you know, we'd like also, if you think you have a questions that you can ask, easier to answer because that's not KMS radio but the bishops here to tell us more about said the un Israel United. So why did you choose the name Israel? Because it's uh, it's kind of like some people may ask questions say it's a country you know you know we're talking about Israel in the Bible then comes you know um, I mean uh, an organization with the name of saying Israel the United mm -hmm. in Christ. Right. So. If you remember in Genesis the forefather Jacob when you read Genesis chapter 32, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, where he wrestled with the angel. Mm. Remember that? Do you remember what happened? Uh, you're, you're talking about this, this sort of Jacob. Yes. yes. Uh, Genesis 32 and verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Jacob, whose name became Israel, yes, became the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. The 12 tribes of Israel are the people that Moses delivered from Egypt. Now, you know the Exodus. You heard the story. Yes. What continent did that take place on? Was the Exodus coming from Egypt in America? Was it in France, Europe? Where was it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's amazing. Uh, I think it was in Egypt, you know. <laughs> yes. But Israel where, to Egypt. Yes. Is, yeah. What continent is that? Uh, in Africa. That's right. But you know what? Most people, like yesterday, I uh, spoke with a young man. He said, Egypt uh, is in America. Yeah. I said, young man, have you not gone to school? <laughs> the, the beginning of the Bible all takes place on the continent of Africa. Africa. But for some reason, every church believes the people in the Bible are Caucasian. Think about that. Oh, maybe. Um, okay, that's uh, <laughs> that, 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 that's mind blowing. You know, uh, there are kind of a lot of revelations that's coming out here. Even for me, you know, there are kind of things that I'm picking up. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's very amazing. So, how large and how deep is your? I mean, your organization. The organization is very deep because it's not just an American thing. Yeah, it's the scattered Israelites, which have been scattered through South Africa, for example. Uh, uh, let me help you here with South Africa. Yeah, you know the history of South Africa, correct? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, when you read. Deuteronomy 28, when we came out of Egypt with Moses, 
He warned us if we break God's commandments, curses will come upon us. Mm. So now let's, I'm going to read a curse, and you tell me if this happened here in South Africa. Deuteronomy mm-hmm. 28, and I'm going to read verse 32. And it reads as follows. 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Were the people of South Africa's sons and daughters given to the Dutch and to the British? Do you know the history? Yeah. So the answer is what? Yes. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, when they took your sons and daughters, some of them they took to Europe. Like Sarah Bartman, you heard of her. Yeah. And there were many, not just her, that went to Europe as slaves. Did you have power to retrieve your sons and daughters? No. No. And it didn't just happen in South Africa. It happened throughout the entire continent of Africa. And he took some of us to America, Canada, Australia. They took us worldwide. So the cur- this curse happened. And there's many curses that the Bible uh, prophesies would happen that happened to us and nobody else. What do you got to say about that? Amazing. <laughs> That's very amazing, you know. So, uh, you are based you now, you said, here in South Africa, where are you based exactly? Oh, you go ask me a hard question. What's the address? <laughs> I forgot. We have no, an no, address no, here. Okay, no problem, no problem. You know, yeah, we can even, like, uh, give it up later. Yes, even please. when, uh, you know, if uh, if you'd like to know more, you know, you can just contact the KMS Radio, and we'll be glad to give you all the details, you know, about the Israel United in Christ. Mm-hmm. So, it's it, the name itself already tells you, you know, Israel United in Christ. So, we are united in Christ. That's what right. about you? So, I don't know. So, it's very good for you just to understand as well, you know. So, your teaching is based on the Bible. So, yes. who's really the co-founder of uh, the, the organization? The God, the God of heaven and earth. He's the, yeah, that's right. And Jesus God. Christ is black. I didn't want to say that. He is black. <laughs> I know you're laughing well, because you think I can't. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not laughing. So it's kind of like uh, there's a lot of things because there's a lot of question marks because yes. um, we don't really have the picture of Jesus. So the Bible describes him though. Uh, he said yes. he was a man. He was a man of color. Oh, yes. Uh, can you read the scripture for me, oh, if you don't mind? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me to read that. Yep, yep, yep. Because you know what? In church, you know, you've seen pictures of the Caucasian Jesus. Yeah. Nobody ever asked the preacher, can you read a scripture on that? That's a question. That, that, that's a point. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, okay, uh, for that, even myself, I have a problem because many believers these days, they go to church to sit to listen. Yeah. They don't really read even yeah. their own Bible. That's the reason why I want to know. Maybe, you know, somehow I missed that page. Yes, so. sir. So here, in Revelation chapter 1, I'll read verse 1 so you know who I'm talking mm-hmm. about. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Now, for time's sake, I'm going to jump to verse 14. No problem. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, meaning the hair on his head and the hair on his face was like wool. Wool is like lamb's hair, sheep hair, afro hair. What people has wool, afro hair on the earth? Is it white people or black people? Black people. Okay. Let's go on. Uh, Verse uh, 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet, now it goes down to his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what color does it get? Black. Black. So you mean no Christian theologian ever read this? They read that and said, ah, we cannot teach this to the slaves. Never teach this to the slaves. Why? They might unite themselves and revolt. Mm-hmm. So they gave us their image. So that any time we saw them, we saw God. We saw Jesus. We would humble ourselves to them and never rise up and never unite. Imagine if I see white people of Jesus as Jesus and God. When I looked at you, what would I see? Darkness. The devil. Yep. But now we see that Jesus looks like you and me. Now we understand why Jesus said in Revelation 2, 9, do you remember what he said? I know your works in tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy mm-hmm. of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the, do you remember the last three words? Yeah. What? Oh, I can't remember the one that's the- rich. Help me, help, come on. Uh, I just really forget because, you know, I'm really puzzled right here. So there's a lot that's coming into me. and you make Synagogue me think, of Satan. You're making me think you a lot now. <laughs> All right, that's, uh, that's amazing. So wh- what requires, because I try to went to go through your website, trying mm-hmm. to understand it at least, you know, because usually what do we do when a person comes to interview? We'd like to know you because so that we don't, uh, you know, somehow, somehow promote Israel, the kingdom of, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I don't want to promote that name because we... 
we believe in Christ as well. We believe because we are also Christian. So it's very good to understand. So um, where would do people get in touch if really they want to understand your teaching and your doctrine? Uh, visit my website, www.israelunite.org. Wow. So it's... It, do you have like a, I mean uh, I don't know if we, should we call it a church like you know uh, we a have a, where a building where people can yes, come yes we have a venue right now okay. we haven't bought a, an official building as yet we have about uh, fifty members about so far right here and it's start it's growing it is growing in South Africa why because just like you nobody has ever heard these same and there's so many more they have never heard the color of God the color of Jesus the color of the angels the Israelites. What happened to the Israelites? So do, Nobody do angels knows. also have as, as color? Oh yeah! Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you asked that. Cause on my mama's wall, they got. She had pictures of white angels all my life, blonde hair and blue eyes and yeah. pink skin. But when you read Ezekiel chapter one, it talks of verse thirteen. It says, "As for the likeness of the living creatures, mm. the angels, their appearance was like burning coals of fire." What color is a coal? Black. Oh, we never read that. We never heard that in church. They lied to us. All these churches been lying for t- centuries. That that's really <laughs> that's amazing. You know. So uh, what should we do? Repent because and it, come out of those churches <laughs> and come join me. Come learn. Wow, that's uh, that amazing. And uh, this is a bishop writer uh, from uh, the Israel United in Christ. So we believe uh, we believe in Christ in all ends. As you're saying, we all using the same Bible. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, what should we say? The li- what should we say the lie to us? Maybe because the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. That's what right. if they didn't have the knowledge mm-hmm. of perished. the knowing how? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, that's why the Lord in these last days, because these are the last days, has raised us up. Mm. You know what? Some people say it's not the color of the Israelites that's important. Mm-hmm. It's the message. Have you ever heard that? I'm pretty sure that might be going through your mind. If it's not, I won't even touch it. But if it is, I'll deal with it. Watch this. Second Corinthians mm. chapter 11 and verse uh, 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached. Mm-hmm. Ask yourself, who came preaching a Caucasian Jesus with blonde hair and blue eyes that they have not preached? That meaning that's not in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Who came to South Africa preaching another Jesus? Oh, your friendly neighborhood white man. Let's read on. Mm. It says, which we have not preached. It says, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received. Here it comes. Or another gospel, Mm -hmm. which you have not accepted. You might well bear with him. Paul prophesied some would come preaching another Jesus. They would give you another spirit and another gospel. Listen, brothers and sisters, if they gave you a false Jesus, they gave you a false gospel. Every you got to reexamine everything you thought you knew. Because what you've learned is lies. Mm. This is the age of Antichrist. What we've been living in, what do you think apartheid was all about? That's the age of Antichrist. What do you think slavery and colonialism is? Antichrist. It's all Antichrist. Now we're waking up, returning to the truth that we're the people of the book. We're the Israelites. Mm. We're not savages. We're the Israelites. And we must do it with 12 tribes. We must come back together under Christ. He's our king. He's our Lord, and he's coming back to save us. You best to believe that. So uh, are we not saved as the Gentiles in the Bible? <laughs> You're not saved yet, brother. Saved from what? Let me ask you that. Saved from what? What would you be saved from? From our transgression is from our sins. Uh, We've been redeemed by the blood of Christ. Oh, uh, okay. Watch this. I'm going to help you out. Guys. All right. Luke chapter 1. Watch the prophecy of, of Jesus Christ. Mm. It reads, I'm at 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. What do you think Christ is coming to save you from? Oh, my sins. Oh, it's more. Our sins is what got us into slavery. Captivity. Mm. Our sins is what caused apartheid. Mm. Now the Lord says, I'm coming to save you from your enemies. You have to answer the question, who are the enemies he's talking about? It said enemies. Wow. I'm going to just let you think on that. I'm going to just let you ponder. <laughs> let your listeners ponder on that. I ain't going to give you the answer because you should know. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's really amazing. So you said 
we are not Gentiles, if I may understand that. Yes, we became Gentiles. Listen to what I'm All right. to say. Let me show you something. The terminology Gentiles mm -hmm. is a Greek terminology, which means nations. Yeah. It can pertain to non-Israelites, or it can pertain to Israelites. I'm going to prove my point. All right. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 15. And it reads as follows. The land of Zebulon, that's one of the tribes of Israel. And the land of Naphtali, that's another tribe of Israel. By the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Why did they call Zebulon and Naphtali Gentiles? Nobody knows. Because they went into idolatry. That's why. For example, the Corinthians, what were they? Were they the Corinthians? Were they Israelites or were they Greeks? Corinth, the Corinthians. They were Greeks. Ah, okay, very good. I'm glad you said that answer. <laughs> Understand this, that the Israelites were scattered throughout Asia Minor, hmm. okay, which were Greek provinces, right? Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 10, verse 1. Listen good. Paul writing, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Were the Greeks with Moses during the Exodus? No. No. Who was with Moses during the Exodus? The Israelites. There you go. That's who the Corinthians were. This and as many other scriptures to prove the people you're reading about in Corinth, Thessalonica, Galatia, Philippi, these were Israelites who went under Greek, Greek names. Mm -hmm. Like, we're going under American. I'm, they call me African American. That's a Gentile terminology. Okay? Whatever names our people have labeled on them are Gentile labels. We're the Israelites, though, who went into slavery for breaking God's commandments, and we lost ourselves. I hope you all understand. Wow, that. that's uh, that's really amazing. That's really amazing. You know, so um, you kind of like have like saying books as well, where people can like uh, you know read yes. also like understand more much about your doctrines. Yes, you could go to Original Royalty dot com where we have books and merchandise, yeah. and there are two books on there. Understand is that what I read is and Welcome Home packet where it'll take you step by step through the scriptures proving slavery, oppression, apartheid is in the Bible. And identifies the color of the Israelites that we are those people. Beautiful. And this is the KMS Radio live again this afternoon. If you're listening to us, and whenever you are, we bless the name of the Lord right again. You know, and this evening we have, uh, sorry, this afternoon it's, uh, you know, our special guest. It is, you know, from Israel United in Christ. That's a very big, good organization. If you'd like, really, you know, you can also go into their website, which is uh, www.israelunite.com. Dot org. Then you can know much more about what they preach. But, uh, you know, from what I'm getting here, you know, I hope you would be really blessed. And if you'd like to be part of the show, you can just email us on info at chemistryradio.com. As, uh, you know, we do it every Sunday, right, with me here again, you know. And this is the Sunday Vibe. So before us, you know, really, um, you know, running up, you know, finishing everything. So what is the good message that you can give those who are watching us? Okay, many people may ask. How can I be saved? Right? Like, I'll ask you, how can you be saved according mm -hmm. to the Bible? Well, how, what would you say? What's your answer? Okay. For me, it's just believing in the Word and, you know, living the Word of God. Living the Word of God and just believing. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tell you what Jesus says. All right. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. I want everybody to pay attention. Mm. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? That was my question, eternal life, salvation. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. You heard what Christ said in three words. Mm -hmm. What were they? Keep the commandments. And nobody in South Africa keeps the commandments. Nobody in America keeps the commandments. In fact, in church they teach us God's commandments are done away with. So we grow up fornicating. We grow up worshiping idols. We grow up believing lies. But now, this is a new day for South Africa. Keep the commandments, says the 12 tribes of Israel. That is your duty. That's how you prepare yourself for the second coming of our king. 
get it on <laughs> <laughs> you know you know it's amazing it's really really amazing i would like us really you know by the grace of god if we can have really another show where we can invite you again because there's a lot that uh, you know a lot of people out there would like really you know to get from you so beside the website is there any like you no know, um i don't know what can i say um how could it do once again all right the name, the name is really out of my mind now we have an instagram page you have an instagram page. okay yes. uh, okay is your united in christ instagram you can page. give all the pages, like your Facebook pages, yes. so that people can uh, interact with you, you know, so that at least they will learn you, because I myself, mm-hmm. um, I'm finished. Today, <laughs> today I'm finished. <laughs> if you visit any social media platform, just type in Israel United mm-hmm. in Christ, whether Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and you'll we'll pop up. You'll All see right. us. So is there any school where and people, YouTube? Do you, do you have like it's like a school where you? Teach oh yes. As well? uh, every country we 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 put foot boots down on, we set up a school. Well, so here in South Africa, we where's the school? Yes. Uh, I just forgot the street. I'm so sorry. The brothers that from South Africa, they're right out there. I just forgot the address. All right. Yeah, that's 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 fine. So we're still gonna give it out. You know, even later on other shows, we can still give you all the details if you want. Just you know, contact the chemist radio and. We we will link you straight with the bishop so that you will know, you know, and any telephone numbers that you can give out to people if they want to reach out to you. Is it my phone? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. They did send it to me earlier. All right. You'll bear with me a second. I'm just no so problem. Sorry. You, you, you can uh, go ahead and talk. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you know, right again, this is uh, so this evening, afternoon, right here at KMS Radio, you know, the, the radio that lifts your heart to the next level. Yes. So, go ahead. The phone number is plus 276-60-754417. And our venue is Edenville Community Center, Van Reb... Re- I can't pronounce that word. Re- oh, that's Africans again, Van Rebeck. Yes. Yeah, Van Riebeck. That's where it's at, right? That's yeah. where we at. That's where we be. So in Edenville in Jobeck. Yes. Wow, well, that's beautiful. You know, that's where you can go and, you know, suck and learn more about her uh, in the United, uh, you know, Israel United in Christ. As for me, you know, this is me again right here, and I'm so blessed, you know. Uh, I wouldn't um, like the show to stop, but, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> I'm content with the time, but I'm yes. so blessed myself, you know, and you are more than welcome. Thank you very much for giving us this, you know, your time to come and explain to us um, what we have been missing out on right again, you know. For those who have been really watching us, we thank you again. Share the page, you know, share the news. Don't keep it for yourself uh, because salvation, you know, come on. So we are so, so, so blessed and we would love again to have you anytime right at KMS Radio and you are more than Welcome. Thank man. you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Y'all praise it. So may God bless you. And, you know, thank you again for being part of the show right today here at KMS Radio, the radio that lifts your heart to the next level. As for me, I will see you again, same place, next time, right here at KMS Radio, the radio that lifts your heart to the next level.
child of God. You are God who lives forevermore, and you will never, ever, ever, ever change. Tiolo bakinaza, moto motila de. Ando na kofo wa 